Hey guys, Brian from WorkshopAddict.com and we're going to show you some new GearWrench 120 XP torque wrenches. But first, I want to say if you have not used any of the GearWrench 120 XP ratchets, they have them in swivel and they also have them in standard, they are definitely something to check out. These are a premium in our shop and when there's more than one person working here, we always fight over those ratchets. Now, no matter how many times I show you how smooth this torque wrench or the ratchets are, I will never be able to physically show you it or get it through to you through with a camera. This is just amazing and it's something that you have to feel for yourself. And you're asking, why do I need a torque wrench that has that smooth of a ratchet? Basically, you get a three degree swing. So to get something to click, if you're in a tight place, it's perfect. Now. What are you gonna use a click style torque wrench in a tight place for? Uh, the smaller 3 8 model that we have is model number 85176, and it goes from 10 to 100 foot pound. And with that said, it's going to be 3% accurate in the top 80% range. And we can go over some of the stickers and everything that we had on it to give exacts as how it torqued out at the factory. But something like this is going to be very important if you're inside an engine compartment or trying to get things done while an engine is still in the car. Doing a lot of those upgrades to heads and different things like that, these come in handy. The other reason that I like it, plain and simple, it just gives me a feel of quality. These are easily adjusted on the bottom. Everything here fits tight. You have nice metal knurlings. Everything here feels good. I like quality tools, so even if I'm using the larger half inch that I have here, which is model number 85181, this is 30 to 250 foot pounds, and again, 3% accurate at the upper 80% range. Even if I'm using it on my lug nuts, it's nice to have that full, tight grip accuracy. Uh, the swing doesn't matter when I'm doing lug nuts. Yes and no, uh, I like to have it be that tight that when I'm torquing, I can be more accurate, I can feel the click, I can hear the, the click, and it just works better. Quality tools, quality job. So when we look at the accuracy from the factory, the half inch model came in at 50 foot pounds, at 50.4, 50.4, 50.4, 50.4, and 50.2 dead on accurate at 50 foot pounds. 150 was 150.7, 150.6, 150.3, 150.2, and 150. I mean, the, the accuracy here is perfect. When you get to 250, it varies from basically real close to 251. More than I can ask for for a click style torque wrench. If I was really going out and we have electric torque wrenches that we can digitally see what's happening. If I'm doing a high-end build and I want something just crazy accurate, I'm gonna pull that out. But the 3 8 model, pretty much the same. 20 foot-pounds, it's right hovering there at 19.9. 60 foot-pounds, it's right there at 60. I mean, it's really, really close here. And you can see this. 100 foot-pounds, it is just hovering over close to 100.1. Amazing what they can pull off with the accuracy of these two torque wrenches. And what I really go back to about them is the feel of quality. Again, no matter how much I show you this, uh, we picked them up at SEMA and we're playing with them. It's just amazing just to feel it and it's better to use it. So I highly recommend if you ever see these in the store, or ever see them somewhere, pull them out, give them a little whirl, look at them or try them out if you ever see them. They come in a case pure gear wrench colors. I pull the foam out of the inside. I can throw the case right inside my toolbox. That way when I open and close the doors, I don't have these guys rolling around. Very cool stuff. Highly suggest you check it out. I'll put some more information in the bottom as far as part numbers again, in case you missed it. We always appreciate your time, guys. Give us a thumbs up on this video if you can. Subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.